the way I look at it, you've got three differences in a render engine. You've got the like the UI and the workflow. You've got the render speed, and you've got like the 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 functionality. You know, like the the subtle differences. So, like the the features of the render engine, if that makes sense. So. For me, the biggest thing is always going to be the speed because most render engines are fairly similar these days. You know, it's all based on, you know, if you, if you look at the papers that the render engines are based on, they're all based on things, you know, that, like from late 80s and 90s, you know, like the math behind ray tracing hasn't changed dramatically, but there is negligible differences between the different engines. And for me, the biggest thing there is, in, is the speed. And I've always found V-Ray to be the fastest in that respect mm -hmm. because it gives you more control over like all the aspects of a scene. Whereas other yes. engines kind of have gone down different paths at times. Like I remember when Arnold came out, there was so much hype around the fact that you didn't have settings to adjust in the, in the UI. Mm -hmm. And there was just this massive bandwagon support of you know, guys that I'd worked with in film who were saying that Arnold was so much faster when in reality it was like shit tons slower than V-Ray, but because you didn't have to go in and sit there trying to manually adjust all the settings in the back end and not know what the hell was going on, the, your perception of how fast things were going was different. All you had to do was just wait for the, the render to clean up rather than right. go through and like, okay, am I, have I got the right amount of samples for this material or oversampling things? And it was that kind of um, things like that which separate render engines. So even though the, it, it was slower, people were like, it's faster because they didn't have to go through everything. And I remember when I was breaking down the V-Ray course, people were finally starting to come around. They're like, oh my God, like my renders have gone down from you know, 10 hours to 30 minutes because I was just oversampling everything in the scene. So th there's little details like that. Then there's UI things, you know, some render engines like, like Keyshot, you know, people go to them because it's just a more simple UI. You know, you look at the V-Ray, let me just bring this up here, you know, if you look at the V-Ray UI, it's quite intimidating for someone who's never, yeah. you know, worked with 3D, you know, like what the hell does all this stuff do? So knowing, you know, knowing how to yeah, force, kind of even just gosh, look, what fuck? yeah, like, like, like what is that to someone who hasn't really used it? So if you've got a render engine where it's just kind of like Octane, where it's just bang, open it up, you know, you're seeing a real-time preview, that's way more comfortable for a lot of people. And I think as time goes on, everything will go down that path. But, you know, the, the, the difference for me and the reason why I use V-Ray, it's because of the, the subtle differences. Like there's just little features that you might not think play a big role in production, but that can totally change whether or not something's, you know, achievable. And that's, you know, that's just why I've always defended V-Ray and that's why I've always been on that bandwagon there's obviously things that i'd like fixed or improved in v-ray but all the other engines like and let me just try and bring this up for you here i've got an actual example of this very scene i've just got to find it i was going through and i was like okay what is the difference like between v-ray and octane because i was actually more I was pushing more for Octane at the time, but so many of my subscribers were V-Ray. It was very hard to yeah, convince remember, people to change. Yeah, I remember that. You were, you were like yeah, I was, I was like, I was yeah. like, okay, this is, this is ridiculous. Like, there's got to be a way to get V-Ray to look like Octane. And I, let me try and find it here. Yeah, there's a few things about Octane that I really like, and there's a few things that I just fucking hate. <laughs> But um, to your point, you know, what I found out is, um, you know, apart from the from the differences between the UI and speed, yep. there's also some differences in look, you know? Uh, yes, 100%. There was, um, well, the, by default, Octane has its own color space. Yeah. As in, like, it, it handles things a little bit differently. You can see in this scene of actually that this here without this curve on, and let me see if I've got, you know, this here is how V-Ray looks by its like just normal without any yeah. adjustments. 
Now, one of the things that I found off with that was that sometimes in the shadowy areas, it's just a little bit too dark. Whereas in reality, there's always a bit more light being pushed in to those areas. So whether or not that was just like a little detail about there's not enough GI being pushed in, mm -hmm. you know, a simple fix, you know, by adjusting the curve, which is kind of what Optane was doing, you end up getting all that detail yeah. back in. You can see it under here, you know. So just little things like that that, you know, were separating the two. I just can't find this image. I'm Yeah, take some time, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find it. It's a B ray versus <laughs> Octane comparison. Let me see. Um, so, I'm going to, in the meantime, ask you for, uh, in your experience, you like yes. if you compare Octane and, and, you know, you optimize your settings in Octane for the render, and then you optimize your settings in V ray for a render, in, in your opinion, what, what would be faster? Do you believe V ray is still faster? V rays, V rays a lot faster. Yeah, that's what I noticed. I, I was, I was really impressed. Like, oh shit! Like with a lot of GPUs, I can really get the nice performance out of Octane, and it was mm -hmm. working pretty great for very simple scenes. Um, but the more co complex uh, shaders that I would be starting to use, or you know, more lights, yeah, I, I couldn't tell the difference between speeds, and eventually it was just like, oh, this is way slower. Especially with like semi-translucent objects and like subsurface scattering. All it's very things. hard to yeah. not have any bias there. So what, like, because I've done so much side-by-side -side testing of like an actual more scientific comparison mm -hmm. where you're not, it's not just mental. Like I'm the first person to admit that bias is so easy to underestimate. You know, because like I said, me converting from Octane to V-Ray RT GPU, I was just like, there was something in the back, like a splinter in my mind, you know, telling me that it was so much worse in V-Ray. Like it's not, it doesn't look the same. It's, it's not as fast. Like there was just something there that, you know, I had an attachment to Octane. And the more testing I did, the more I realized that it was just a bias, you know, like it's just... Both of them are capable. So I've got a render up here. On the, this is uh, done in Octane. Yeah. Right. Like a, you know, and you can see on the left here, I've got the V-Ray scene set up. It's not an identical scene, mm -hmm. but the the look and feel, yeah, I ended up I ended up getting it very similar. So it's not, oh, this just isn't an exact duplicate, but I ended up having the two side by side. I don't know why I can't find that image. But they were literally like you just couldn't tell the difference, right. and then even still, like the I had gotten it to like within one percent difference, and even still, when I posted that, people were saying, you know, oh, but like the octane just has like a nicer spread on the gold. It's like bullshit, man. Like if I <laughs> if I posted that and said that V Ray was on the left and octane was on the right, you wouldn't have known, you yeah, know. It's a bias. So it's still there. There's that bias there, you know. Even in just when it's like smack in front of you.